in this episode we're going to be playing another parsley game called Space Station. You wake up in the cramped confines of a cryosleep capsule. You're still in your service uniform and have a world class headache. How long were you asleep? Can I check my inventory? You currently have no inventory. Oh wow, that's a unusual. Oh, there's nothing in there, rather. Yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, that's un- it's unusual. There's usually something like a glass slipper or a pipe. <laughs> glass <laughs> slipper. Okay, so can I check the capsule? No. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're going good already. Can I exit the capsule? You have died. <laughs> yeah, there's no more, there's no other pages. How does I not notice this? Weakened by cryosickness, you barely manage to drag yourself into the medical bay. You're in the medical bay. The cryosleep chamber is here. A hypo-injector rests on the countertop, just within reach. A turbo lift is here to transport you to other levels of the space station. Oh, wow. What was, what was, what was on the side, sorry? Uh... A hypo-injector rests on the countertop, just within reach. Can I use the hypo-injector? You are now strong enough to stand and move about the space station. Cool, cool. Can I check out the medical bay? I don't think it's going to be worth it, but I may as well. The cryosleep chamber is here. Yeah. And the countertop that did have a hypo-injector is here. Okay. Oh, you have the hypo-injector in your inventory now. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So you've got that with you. Yeah. Can I head over to the lift thingy, Majiggy? You walk over to a rapid transport tube, large enough for several occupants. To use the turbo lift, use the commands up or down, or speak the name or number of a desired area. Oh, wow. I'm going to go up. Level 4, Cybernetics Lab. You're in the Cybernetics Lab, surrounded by monitors, terminals and flashing lights. An access ladder leads to the CPU core. There is a set of micro tools here. There is a robot here. The turbo lift is here. Oh, wow. Can I pick up the micro tools? You now have the micro tools. And can I inspect the robot? You see a dog sized robot designed to perform repetitive or dangerous tasks. It moves about on tank treads and can carry and manipulate objects with its crab like pincers. The name Froz is laser etched into its skin. Oh, wow, that sounds intense. Okay. Uh... Oh, exits, by the way, are turbo lift or the CPU core. Oh. What's the room we're in at the minute called, sorry? Cybernetics Lab. Cybernetics. And that's level four, if you keep in track of that. I'm going to go into the CPU core. Does it tell you a left or right, or is it just literally a... No, you just go oh, into yeah. it. yeah, okay, cool. You enter the brains of the space station. This towering room is where all the station's data is stored. Ladders run up the central spire, allowing technicians access to the core. The core radiates intense heat, making it uncomfortable to remain here. Basically saying get the hell out. Uncomfortable, not deadly. Can I go up the staircase towards the core or inspect inspect the core? You see a massive column of processors and data storage units rising high above you. The space station's brain and central nervous system. To keep heat at manageable levels, the CPU core is ringed with cooling vanes at each level. I'm going to go back into the cybernetics lab. You're back in the cybernetics lab, surrounded by monitors, terminals and flashing lights. And I'm going to go up in the lift. Level 5. Command Deck. The command deck is usually populated by the station's captain and crew, but it's been abandoned. There is a comm terminal here. You see a parsec binder here. You smell burning from a nearby corridor. The turbo lift is here. What was that binder that was there, sorry? A parsec binder. Can I pick it up? You've picked it up. Inspect it, maybe? This three-ring binder contains communication protocols for hailing alien life forms. Oh, wow. And what what else was there? A terminal? Uh, the comm terminal, yes. Can I go? Can I inspect the comm terminal? The comm terminal is used to send messages to ships docking with or leaving the space station. It is currently me- flashing a message: CPU offline. Uh, okay, okay. 
Can I inspect the room again? The command deck is usually populated by the station's captain and crew, but it's currently abandoned. There is a comm terminal here, and the parsec binder was here that you picked up. You smell burning from a nearby corridor. There is a turbo lift here. Can I inspect the nearby corridor at all, maybe? The nearby corridor is the route to the sensor array. Can I go into that corridor? You're in a corridor filled with cables and wires that run up from the CPU core and over to the comm terminals. The smell of burning electronics hangs in the air. A note is stuck to the panel. Can I have a look at it? Can I pick up the note? Inspect the note? You read the message. 1. Take nap. 2. Clean cooling veins. 3. Fix the lever. It's in your own handwriting and dated two months ago. Whoops. <laughs> Sounds like us. <laughs> what's the what's the corridor I'm in again, sorry? I'm trying to make a note of this. Uh, you're in the sensor array. Can I have another look around? Can I inv- inspect the area? There's a panel that used to have a note stuck on, but you've had a look at the note. And that's all that was in there? Yeah, the note was stuck to a panel. Okay, can I inspect the panel? You find a short in the signal receiver wiring. Hmm. Can I use the micro tools on it? Don't think I will. You can indeed. Oh, wow. The sensor array is now fixed. Holy crap! Okay, uh, can I use the sensor array or is that just a case of... Uh, think of it as like just the the computery bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like it's not the monitors and stuff. They're yeah, back on it, the control uh, yeah. wherever you were before. Okay. The command deck. Okay, so can I go back over to the command deck? The command deck, usually populated by the station's captain and crew. Abandoned. Com terminal here. Can I use the com terminal? It's going to send the CPU down. It's currently flashing a message. CPU offline. Yeah. Right. Can I go? Th- can I go up another level, or are we on the top level? I'm going to see. Uh, I- there's another. There's another level. Yeah. We'll go up another level then. Level six. Observation deck. You're at the top deck of the station. A panoramic window grants you a 360 degree view of outer space and a mysterious death world. Some kind of alien warship is positioned nearby. Holy crap! Can I have a run through that? Can I inspect the area again? I just want to see what looks like. An explosion rocks the space station from outside. Fortunately, the shields hold. Oh my... F- You're on the top deck of the station. A panoramic window grants you a 360 degree view of outer space and the mysterious death world. Some kind of alien warship is positioned nearby. There is a turbo lift here. Oh, this is timed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Ah. Right, I'm going to go to the lift and I'm going to go all the way back down to the cybernetics lab. You're in the cybernetics lab, surrounded by monitors. Uh, Surrounded by monitors, terminals and flashing lights. An access ladder leads to the CPU core. Alexa's just woke up when I said access ladder. (laughs) Really? Yeah, there is a robot here. Okay, can I pick up that robot? The robot's very heavy. Okay, can I go in the lift, but can I go down a level? You're in the medical bay. The cryosleep chamber you woke up in is here. Okay, can I go down another level? Is that possible? Level 2. Engineering bay. A display panel shows you the station's diagnostics. A reinforced door leads to the reactor. Another door leads to the shield generator. You see a pair of magnetic boots here. There is a turbo lift here. Can I pick up the magnetic boots? You now have the magnetic boots in your inventory. Can I go... Can you read out what, what, what rooms we're down here again, please? A display panel shows you the station's diagnostics. A reinforced door leads to the reactor. Another door leads to the shield generator. Right. Can I go into the reactor room? Or is it not possible with a reinforced door? Are you out of your mind? No human can tolerate the radiation that's in there. Okay, no, I'll go into the shield generator room. I mean, if you really want to insist on going into the room, I do no, have I'm a bit fine. of dialogue for that. I'm good. <laughs> it literally just says, fine, you die, the end. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you really insist that you want to go in there. <laughs> 
Uh, what, what was he wanted to do? Sorry. I'm going to go into the shield generator room. The station shields repel space debris, cosmic rays and hostile life. They also prevent unauthorised ships from docking with or leaving the station. Oh. There's a control panel here. Can I? An explosion rocks the space station from outside. Fortunately, the shields hold. Oh, Jesus. Can I inspect that station, please? Uh, inspect what, sorry? The, not the station, sorry. Isn't, wasn't the station? There's a control panel. Control panel. The shields are currently up. A set of controls allows the operator to raise and lower the shields, allowing ships to dock with and leave the station. Oh dear, I don't want I don't want to lower them. Hmm. Can I go down even lower than this in the lift? Uh, not from this room, no, you have to go back to the engineering <laughs> oh, yeah, bay first. Sorry. Yeah. Can I go back to the engineering bay? You're in the engineering bay which has a display panel showing the station diagnostics, a reinforced door leading to the reactor. And the other door leading to the shield generator. Okay, can I check that panel showing the system di- the station diagnostics, please? The panel explodes, killing you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't really. It doesn't oh really. god, <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> no, it just says uh, it's got a flashing message on it saying CPU offline. Uh, I thought it would lead back to that. Okay, I'm going to head back to the lift, and I'm going to go to level four cybernetics lab. You're in the cybernetics lab, surrounded by monitors, terminals and flashing lights. There's an access ladder here leading to the CPU core. There's a robot here. An explosion rocks the space station from outside. Fortunately, the shields hold. Can I ask that robot to go and look at the CPU core for me? Possibly. The robot tilts its head like a dog would and bleeps. (laughs) It's adorable. Can I go up the ladders to the CPU core room? Uh, The towering room is where all the station's data is stored. Ladders run up the central spire, allowing technicians access to the core. The core radiates intense heat, making it uncomfortable to remain here. Can I go up the central ladders to the CPU core? Just to have a gander. Is that possible? Uh, I I think you're actually on that ladder. Oh, so that's just like... (laughs) Oh no, there are more ladders, but yeah, there's no real point to do that at the moment. Well, I mean, you can climb the ladders, but, no, but there's the, nothing to there's do nothing. up there. Yeah, I need that robot to do something. Can I examine the cooling veins? You see dozens of aluminium alloy veins used to radiate heat away from the CPU core. They are filthy with dust and grime as if they haven't been cleaned in months. Oh, man. Can I ask the robot to clean the veins? Unfortunately, the robot is on tank treads and cannot climb the ladder. Ah, uh, can I clean the veins? I haven't got you have anything. a look around for a dirty rag or something to use, but you don't see anything here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. Can I go back from the CPU core to the cybernetics lab? In the cybernetics lab with the monitors, terminals and flashing lights. And then can I go down in the lift to level 2 engineering bay? A display panel shows you the station's diagnostics. A reinforced door leads to the reactor. Another door leads to the shield generator. Am I able to go into the lift, but further down? Further down from here to well, level one, I guess, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you arrive at the flight deck. Most of the emergency escape pods have been jettisoned, but one pod remains. There's a flashing light beside the pod bay doors. A corridor leads to the transporter pad. There is a turbo lift here. Can I go and check out the last escape pod left? You see a two-person escape pod. It's equipped with a distress beacon and is pre-programmed to take you to a recovery point somewhere in space. Can I get into it? This is going to bite me in the ass. You see a set of doors that allow escape pods to eject without depressurising the flight deck. There is a red light flashing next to the door's manual override lever. Can I pull the lever? I can't see me being able to, or either I can and I, I die instantly. No, the lever's jammed. Uh, can I inspect the rest of the room, please? Just what else was in there? Yep, so you've got this emergency pod. Yeah. There's a flashing light next to the pod bay doors. There's a corridor to the transporter pad. And there's your turbo lift. So there's the emergency pod. Yep. Transporter pad. And what else? What And the flashing light where, sorry? There's a flashing light next to the escape pod doors. Okay, which I've just looked at. And the, the, okay, cool. Ah, I must point out that you haven't looked at the light. Oh, can I inspect 
Can I inspect the light, please? This light flashes red when the pod bay doors are malfunctioning. Ah, okay. That was useful, weren't it? Yeah. <laughs> you already figured that out by trying yeah. to pull the, <laughs> by trying to lever. Pull the lever. Yeah. Oh, lever, pull. <laughs> the entire Can... space station in place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I inspect the transporter pad? Uh, it's actually a transporter room. I'm not sure why it said pad there, so you have to go to it. Oh, can I go into the room, the transporter room, please? Yep. And can I inspect that? Yeah. The transporter pad is where people and supplies are teleported to and from the space station. There is a control panel here. A space mop stands in the corner. The can flight pick- deck is outside this room. <laughs> can I pick up the space the space mop, please? <laughs> you now have a space mop. Um, can I also check the... What was in the corner, sorry? No, not in the court. There was. Can I inspect the room again? The transporter pad is where people and supplies are teleported to and from the station. There is a control panel here. Can I check the control panel? You see numerous dials and an activation switch. Without proper training, it would be hazardous to use the transporter. Okay. So okay. Oh, can I go back to the back to the, the flight deck? Yes. Yeah. Trying to note all these rooms and rooms feeding off rooms. I know, right? So Especially f- with the up and down as well. I know. Instead so, of north, east, south, west, it's just up and down. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm back in the flight deck now. Yeah, Can you're I- back on the flight deck. Most of the emergency escape pods have been jettisoned. There's one still here. Uh, corridor leads back to the transporter pad or there's the turbo lift. Okay, can I go into the turbo lift and go up to... Level 4 cybernetics lab. An explosion rocks the space station from outside. Oh, no. Fortunately, the shields hold. Mm. You're in the cybernetics lab, surrounded by monitors, terminals and flashing lights. An access ladder leads to the CPU core. There is a robot here. Can I go to the CPU core, please? You enter the brains of the space station. This towering room is where all the station's data is stored. There's the ladders that you know about and so on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's warm. Can I... <laughs> Can I use the mop on the dirty veins? Cooling veins. You wipe off the grime from the cooling veins at each level. The CPU core chimes as its systems reboot. Awesome. Okay, so now that's booted back up. Can I go? I love how you're actually doing your real life job right now. I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> <clears throat> I go I? back to the cryo sleep chamber and go back for another couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I go Just back? Have, have another nap now that I've done that job. <laughs> yeah. I'm done for the day. I'm on break. <laughs> oh, and it's the weekend as well. I'll see you guys Monday. <laughs> exactly. See you Monday, Froz. That robot is... I don't know what... Oh, I'll leave. Can I go to the commander? Uh, can I go back to the cybernetics lab? Back to cybernetics, yeah. So you're in the cybernetics lab, surrounded by monitors, terminals, and flashing lights. An access ladder leads to the CPU core that you've just climbed down. There's a robot here. Can I inspect that robot again, please? You see a dog sized robot designed to perform repetitive or dangerous tasks. Oh. It moves about on tank treads and can carry and manipulate objects with its crab-like pincers. Oh, the name oh, Froz oh. is laser-etched into its skin. Can I command the dog to go into the lift? Yes. Yes! The dog goes into a, into the lift and waits patiently. Okay, can I... The dog? The f- robot fuck. The ro- <laughs> <laughs> no, the robot goes into the lift and waits for your commands. <laughs> I like how you said it. That was my dog. <laughs> right, the, the robot dog. <laughs> Froz. <laughs> the dog goes into the lift. <laughs> can I go in the lift as well, please? Yes, you can. Okay. Where do you want can to go? I'm going to go down to level two engineering bay. A display panel shows you the station's diagnostics. A reinforced door leads to the reactor. Another door leads to the shield generator. Can can I send the robot into the... Oh, sh- 
I send the rock. <laughs> just knocked What's that? <laughs> just knocked my bottle over on the floor. Can I send? Oh, it's your turn this time. Oh no! Luckily, it was closed. Can I send the robot into the reactor room? Beep boop. Frost enters the reactor through an access hatch. Good day. An explosion rocks the space station from outside. <laughs> Fortunately, the shields hold. <laughs> oh, can I ask the robot? Oh, man, I don't know. Can I ask the robot to check the reactor, inspect the reactor? Frost quickly surmises the problem. Um, can I ask? Can I ask Frost to fix the problem? F- F- Frost shuts down the reactor while it makes its repairs. Oh. oh. An explosion rocks the space station oh. from outside. God damn it. Fortunately, the shields hold. Okay, so... <laughs> can I ask Frost to... I'm sort of confused here now. So he shut it down to do his repairs. Attention. <laughs> Flight deck radiation levels are now minimal. Okay, cool. So yeah, he's fixed the problem. Ah, oh, awesome. Can I go down to the flight... Oh, can I go uh, into the lift? Um, and then... Just like a, a normal dog, by the way, Froz Do need... does have the command to follow. Uh, just if I... that helps. Yeah, it, well, I, I was going to ask that, but I wasn't sure if I should, really. So um, yeah, if you want it, then issue the command as if you came up with it. <laughs> yeah, so okay. Can so can I get Froz to come back to me, please, and then follow Froz me? Froz returns to you and beeps. He's adorable. <laughs> And then, yeah, follow. Uh, Fraz beeps in acknowledgement. And then, can I, can me and Fraz go into the lift? Uh, you can indeed, yes. You're in the lift. And go up to level five. Weirdly, the turbo lift sounds like someone shuffling through papers. <laughs> You're on the command deck. The command deck is usually populated by the station's captain and crew, but it's been abandoned. There's a comm terminal here. Uh, so can I check the comm terminal? It is currently flashing a message. Incoming message. Unknown language. Please input language to translate. Hmm... Can I check my inventory? Yes, your inventory is a hypo-injector, micro-tools, binder, note, mag boots, space mop, robot. Okay. Robot's not really in your inventory, but you have got him to follow you. Yeah. Can I check that Parsec binder? The text is dry and technical, causing you to nod off for a few seconds. In brief... Intergalactic regulations mandate an invading force offer terms of surrender before using extinction level weaponry. An explosion rocks the space station from outside. Fortunately, the shields hold. Oh, they ain't gonna hold much longer. Okay, can I go into the corridor that was on fire? It's no longer on fire, but yes, you can go in there. Okay. You're in the sensor array. I don't need to be in here. Oh. Can I can I go back into the command deck again? Yep, you're in the command um, deck. Can I check that console one more time? It's currently flashing a message. Incoming message. Unknown language. Please input language to translate. Mm. Can I go back to the lift and down to level one in the flight deck? Because I did something down there just with the robot. You arrive at the flight deck. Most of the emergency escape pods have been jettisoned, but one pod remains. There's a flashing light beside the pod bay doors. Can I check that light? This light flashes red when the pod bay doors are malfunctioning. Oh, man. Can I check the... uh, Can I go into the transporter pad, the transporter room? The transporter pad is where people and supplies are teleported to and from the station. There's a control panel here. Can I check the control panel? You see numerous dials and and an activation switch. Without proper training, it would be hazardous to use the transporter. Hmm. Hmm. Tempted to try and use them. 
but I really don't think I should. That's going to end in tears. Okay, I'm going to... Can I go back to the flight deck? You're back on the flight deck. And then into the lift and all the way up to level six. Level see if six. Anything, see if there's anything up there I've missed. You're on the top deck of the station. A panoramic window grants you a 360 degree view of outer space and the mysterious death world. <laughs> <laughs> Some mm. kind of alien warship is positioned nearby. Can I inspect the... Ob- oh, yeah, that's just going to tell me the same thing again. Can I ex- inspect the observation deck area? Uh, that's basically what that's I just basically, said. Yeah, yeah. I, thought, I thought so. So there's nothing really to do up there at the minute. Let's inspect the damn things that you see outside, you f***. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> Who said that? Okay, can I, ins- can I inspect the alien warship? You see an alien warship of Freleon design. It's bristling with weapons, including the dreaded gravity cannon. (laughs) Can I inspect the death planet? This space station was built to study this strange, featureless planetoid. In hindsight, probably a mistake. (laughs) Oh, s***, no s***, Sherlock. (laughs) Okay, um, I'm going to go back down to the command deck. An explosion rocks the space station from outside. Uh, Fortunately, the shields hold. Uh, yeah, you're on the command deck. I'm going to go into brief mode so I don't keep repeating it because you'll probably get bored of it. But let me know if you want to... A description of the well, ring. Well, actually, I'm going to go... <laughs> St- I'm staying in the lift. Can I go back up to level six quickly? <laughs> okay. Well, you Sorry. Missed something. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to quickly do, make a note of something. Uh, you're back on the observation deck. Okay, can I inspect that spaceship again, please? Yeah, you see an alien warship of Freleon design. It's bristling with weapons, including the dreaded gravity cannon. Okay, can I now go back into the lift down to level five? You drop a pen or something, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, command deck, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're back on the command deck. Okay, can I check the console in there? Yep, the console is currently flashing a message. Incoming message. Unknown language. Please input language to translate. Can I put Freli in? Attention humans. Surrender space station. Or be destroyed with gravity cannon. (laughs) I guess that's all screwed. Uh, Is there anything I can say back in there? You're allowed to surrender or say nothing. Oh. I'm going to say nothing then. The warship attacks the space station with a gun that fires black holes. The space station implodes. You're dead. Would you like to restart? Oh, fuck. So I should have surrendered. Was that... Well, no, don't say that, but was that a result of me saying nothing? Yes, it was. God, f***ing damn it. Oh, I should have saved. I didn't ask for any saves. (laughs) I I will restart, yeah, I will. You wake up in the cramped confines of a cryo-sleep capsule. You're still in your service uniform and have a world-class headache. How long were you asleep? Okay, can I exit my capsule? Weakened by cryo-sickness, you barely manage to drag yourself to the medical bay. You are in the medical bay. A cryo-sleep chamber is here. A hypo-injector rests on the countertop, just within reach. A turbo lift is here to transport you to other levels of the place... Of the space station. Not PlayStation, as I was about to say. (laughs) I heard that, yeah. I was like, what? Okay, can I use the hypo injector? You are now strong enough to stand and move about the space station. Can I now go up to the cybernetics lab, level four? You're in the cybernetics lab, surrounded by monitors, terminals and flashing lights. An access ladder leads to the CPU core. Alexa's just triggered again. (laughs) There's a set of micro tools here. There's a robot here. There's a turbo lift here. Can I pick up those micro tools? Yes, you have the micro tools. And can I command the robot dog to follow? The robot's now following you. Right, can I go back into the lift? Hey, yes. Where would you like to go? Down to level two, the engineering bay. A display panel shows you the station's diagnostics. A reinforced door leads to the reactor. 
Another door leads to the shield generator. You see a pair of mag boots here. There is a turbo lift here. I'm going to pick up those mag boots. And I'm going to go down, go back into the lift and down to level one. You arrive on the flight deck. Most of the emergency escape pods have been jettisoned, but one pod remains. There's a flashing light beside the pod bay doors. A corridor leads to the transporter pad. There is a turbo lift here. Can I... Can I go back into the lift and up to level two? There is the spiel again if you want it, but I'll go into brief mode. Okay. By that I mean I won't read out the description each time. Unless oh, you want okay. me to. No, no, fair enough. <laughs> I thought you were going to read like briefly. No, that's fine. No, 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 that's okay. Uh, can I go to the shield generator? The station shields rebe- repel space debris, cosmic rays and hostile life. They also prevent unauthorised ships from docking with or leaving the station. There is a control panel here. An explosion rocks the space station from outside. Fortunately, the shields hold. I forgot where that damn space mop is. Can I come back out to there, into the engineering bay, and I'll send the robot into the reactor? Frost beeps at you in an adorable way, and enters the reactor through an access hatch. Can I ask the robot to fix the reactor? Frost quickly surmises the problem and shuts down the reactor while it makes repairs. Cool, cool. Can I... So yeah, uh, radiation's fixed. Fixed there, yeah. Oh, where the f*** was that mop? It's one of the only ones I haven't placed on the... Oh, I see, see, you didn't write it down. Yeah, so I've got it in my inventory, but I didn't... Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. You know one exists, but you don't know where it is. It's really annoying, because I know, I mean, I know I'm in the right area as well. <sighs> can I go down to the flight deck? Uh, can I go back to the engineering bay and then into the lift? So you're back out into engineering bay. So where, yeah. where do you want to go from there? Down to level one, flight deck. You arrive at the flight deck. Okay, can I go over to the emergency pods? Uh, you mean the escape pods? Yes, sorry, yeah. Yeah, you're standing in front of the the last remaining escape pod. Can I get into the escape pod? You're in the escape pod. The pod is equipped with a distress beacon, a launch button. There are survival rations and a spacesuit here. Can I launch the pod? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. You hit the large red candy-like launch button. (laughs) It ejects the escape pod from the space station at ultra-high speeds. The escape pod collides with the pod bay doors and explodes. You have died. Would you like to restart? (laughs) Basically just launched yourself into a metal (laughs) wall. Yeah. (laughs) Oh. Go on, then. I'll restart. You're on another restart, and you still haven't asked about saving options. I know! What is wrong with me? <laughs> are there any saving it's pointless options? until... <laughs> there, are, there are saving options. Okay. Is it, is it the case of save over, or just two saves, or what? It depends how much you can remember, and help me rebuild if we have to re- load. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if, you're up for, if you're being honest about it, we can have three save slots. Oh, cool. That's good then. Would you like me to read the intro really, really uh, fast? <laughs> go, yeah, if you want to. Is it, is it best, best to, isn't it, really? Yeah. Uh, you wake up inside the cramped confines of a cryo sleep capsule. You're still in your service uniform and have a world class headache. How long were you asleep? Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to exit my capsule. Weakened by cryo sickness, you barely manage to drag yourself into the medical bay. You're in the medical bay. The cryo sleep chamber is here. A hypo injector rests on the countertop, just within reach. A turbo lift is here to transport you to other levels of the space station. Right, I'm going to grab that uh, hypo injector and use it. You are now strong enough to stand and move about the space station. I'm now going to go to the lift and head up to level four you're in the cybernetics lab surrounded by monitors terminals and flashing lights an access ladder leads to the cpu core there's a set of micro tools here there's a robot here right i'm going to grab that there's a sticker that's that you left here last time you died that says the mops in the transporter room what (laughs) i went in 
the transporter room last time and nothing was said about a mop. Did you? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter, though. That's okay. So I think I'm it was in... Tra- I might be wrong. Maybe it's not in the transport room. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. I thought... Because I thought it was in the transporter room, too. Anyway, any... I'm going to yeah, pick either up... Yeah, either way. Worst I'll case, pick, it, it was, and I just sliced that entire middle one out. I'm going to pick up those micro tools. Okay, you've got the micro tools. And I'm going to ask the robot to follow me. The robot is following you now. Right, I'm now going to go from... I'm going to go into the lift. Yep. And I'm going to go down to level one. And have a look again in that f***ing transporter room. You arrive at the flight deck. Most of the emergency escape pods have been jettisoned. But one pod remains. There's a flashing light beside the pod bay doors. A corridor leads to the transporter pad. There's a turbo lift here. Right, I'm going to go down that corridor into that transporter Hang pad. About. You didn't go into the transporter, you rat bastard. You went I... into the pod this time. <laughs> no, no, I went in. I went down to flight deck, then I went down into transporter, then I went out, then into then into the, the pods. Anyway, we'll go... I don't we'll believe look. you. I did. <laughs> yeah, I you did. might have, to be fair. Maybe I missed that. <laughs> That's okay though. So, oh, I might be I might have been in brief mode, which means you have to ask what's in the room. Okay. <laughs> I'm no longer in brief mode because you restarted. <laughs> okay, so transport This transporter pad is where people and supplies are teleported to and from the space station. There is a control panel here. A space mop stands in the corner. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that space mop. With yeah, both the space hands. <laughs> and I'm now gonna have head- a space mop. Okay, I'm going to head back to the flight deck, into the lift and up to level two. Yeah, you're in the engineering bay then. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, did you want the description of the room or you're good? Um, okay, I'm going to send in the robot to the reactor room. The uh, robot goes into the reactor through an access hatch. Okay, and then I'll, I'm going to ask him to fix up that reactor. Froz quickly surmises the problem and shuts down the reactor while it makes its repairs. An explosion rocks the space station from outside. Fortunately, the shields hold. The robot reckons he's done. Yep, okay, so I'm going to ask him to follow me again still. Yep. And I'm going to go from here into the lift to level four. An explosion rocks the space station from outside. Fortunately, the shields hold. Yeah, I forgot to do a few of them, all right. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You're in the cybernetics lab, surrounded by monitors, terminals, and flashing lights. An access ladder leads to the CPU core. Alexa just responded again. (laughs) There's a set of micro tools here. What is it that Uh, causes that? An access uh, ladder. Flashing lights, an access ladder. (laughs) No, it's not responded now. There's a ro- uh, there's a robot here because it's following you, rather. <laughs> right, I've already picked up those tools. Yep, you've got the tools. Cool. So I'm going to go into the CPU core of the access ladder. Yep. Uh, you enter the brains of the space station. This towering room is where all the station's data is stored. Ladders run up the central spire, allowing technicians access to the core. The core radiates intense heat, making it uncomfortable to remain here. Okay, so I'm going to use the space mop to clean those dirty ass um, heat veins. You climb the ladders and wipe off the grime from the cooling veins at each level. The CPU core chimes as its se- as its systems reboot. Hey. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the cybernetics lab and into the lift. I'm going to go to level five. Command deck. To the command deck. An explosion rocks the space station from outside. Fortunately, the shields hold. The command deck is usually populated by station's captain and crew, but it's been abandoned. There is a comm terminal here. You see a parsec binder here. You smell burning from a nearby corridor. The turbo lift is here. I'm going to pick up that binder. Picked up. And I'm going to head into the sensory array. You're in a corridor filled with cables and wires that run up from the CPU core and over to the comms terminals. The smell of burning electronics hangs in the air. A note is stuck to the panel. Uh, I'll pick up the note. Uh, Can I inspect that note again quickly? You read the message. 
One, take nap. Two, clean cooling veins. Three, fix the lever. It's in your own handwriting and dated two months ago. Oops. Uh, can I inspect that? Can I use the micro tools on that terminal that was broken in the room I'm in? Yep, you hear a faint bleep bloop and you've repaired the panel. Awesome. Uh, okay, so can I now go back to the command deck? Yep. And can I go into the lift? And can I go down to the flight deck on level one? You arrive at the flight deck. Most of the emergency escape pods have been jettisoned, but one pod remains. There's a flashing light beside the pod bay doors. A corridor leads to the transporter pad. Can I check the emergency pods? You see a two-person escape pod. It's equipped with a distress beacon and is pre-programmed to take you to a recovery point somewhere in space. Oh man, I've completely forgot how I got to look at a a lever last time. Is there anything about a lever? Well, you know it exists, you can just look at it if you want. (laughs) Oh, okay, can I inspect the lever? There is a lever here that's used to manually disengage the the door's locking mechanism. Can I use it? Unfortunately, the lever is jammed. Can I use the micro tools on it? The micro tools have no effect. Can I use the robot? Get the robot to do do anything with it? I don't know if that sounded like a lever on your end or not. It did, yeah. That sounded like good news to me. (laughs) (laughs) Froz pulls the lever. The door's safety locks are disabled and the flashing light turns amber. Warning sirens can be heard. Oh. Uh. Oh. (laughs) <laughs> can I check the warning lights? It gives you a description of what. Can I check the warning light? Uh, it's the same light as before, so this light flashes red when the pod bay doors are malfunctioning. But it's amber now. Is there any reason for it being amber? The there, pod bay doors just... are no longer malfunctioning. <laughs> uh, what? Okay, okay. So... If, that's, if that's what you meant, I don't know. No, no, that's fine, that's okay. But yeah, uh, basically that light went amber once the lever had been pulled. So it's, it, they're fixed, essentially? Essentially, yeah. Okay, cool. Can I go back to the emergency pod? Uh, you want to go into the pod? Yeah, I think so. The pod is equipped with a distress beacon and launch button. There are several rations and a spacesuit here. Now, I need to be careful here. I, I'm under the beli- I'm under the understanding that I've fixed those f***ing doors that I smashed into before. <laughs> that is correct. I have, haven't I? I'm just really nervous. Yes, the the doors are now open. Uh, yes. Can, I'm going to press. I'm going to press the button on the pod. On the pod. You press the large red candy light launch button. Oh Jesus f- Christ! Failing wet to wear a spacesuit is a bad idea. Oh no, you can't, no, you cannot, no. <laughs> Freeze, pause, pause Paused. this mother Pause. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe that. Yeah, good catch with your pause, I'm going to allow it. Oh, thank f***ing God. So I've not done anything yet. I'm Hypothetically, still do you yeah. want to know what the next two sentences were? Yeah, go on then. At launch, you turn into pink goo. <laughs> you have died. <laughs> Okay, so... Yeah, so failing right. to wear a spacesuit is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's go back. I've just okay, looked... Okay, at- rewinding. Right, to the point where you're about to press the button. Yeah, so I'm in the but pod. But you haven't yet. <laughs> Can I inspect the pod again to see what's there? Uh, yes, there's rations. Yeah. And a spacesuit here. Can I pick up the spacesuit and put it on? Yes, but there's no real description of it. So oh, okay. you put on the bulky spacesuit, complete with gloves and a helmet. Can I also put the boots on? Magnetic boots, mag boots. Uh, yes, you can use the mag boots. And <laughs> can I? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to press the button. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Doors are open, suits on, boots are on. You give the large red candy light launch button a big old slap. <laughs> this time you're wearing a spacesuit. This time you open the doors. Your escape pod collides with the space station's shield. Explodes. You have died. Oh, f- <laughs> oh, f- 
this f***ing game! Oh my f***ing god! <laughs> oh, can we pretend that pause was the same? <laughs> okay, let me just read the uh, the f*** up there. Yeah. yeah I just so I can edit it in, because it's funny. Okay. Your escape pod collides with the space station's force shield. It explodes. The end. Okay, uh, rewinding to the point where you haven't pressed the button yet. <sighs> yeah. So you're in a spacesuit in the pod, oh, with yeah. mag boots on. Yeah. And that's about it. Okay, can I go oh, on back? Oh, Froz to... is here too. Yeah, can I go Because he's following you around. He's Yeah, he's coming with me. I like that thing. <laughs> can I go back to the flight deck? No. Oh, can I take the boots off? <laughs> I was going to say, the mag boots are stuck to the floor. Yeah, I'll take the boots yeah, so off. So you take the boots off, bung them back in your inventory. Yeah. Back and then to the go flight to deck. Where, sorry, flight deck. Oh, it's the only place you can go from here, isn't it? Yeah, and then I'm going to go to level two in the lift. Okay, you're in the engineering bay. There's a display panel here showing you station diagnostics. There's a reinforced door leading to the reactor. Another door leads to the shield generator. And there's okay. a turbo lift. I'm going to head to the shield generator. The station shields repel space debris, cosmic rays, and hostile life. They also prevent unauthorised ships from docking with or leaving the station. There's a control panel here. An explosion rocks the space station from outside. Fortunately, the shields hold. I'm going to use the control panel. Basically, there's only one function at this point, and Turn well, it off. At all. And that's yeah. to toggle the shields on and off. Okay, yeah, I'll turn them off then. A torpedo hits the station. Sparks and flames erupt from the control panel. The gravity drive fails. You begin to float. <laughs> you begin to f***ing flow. Okay, I'm going to put the mag boots on. So you've got the mag boots on. Yeah, and I'm going to... Boom, boom. You've stuck to the floor. <laughs> I'm going to go to engineering bay. Or can I not move with those on? You can't move with the bag boots on, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn, take them off and I'm going to go to engineering bay. Okay, you're floating about the place. So you're now floating around in the engineering bay. I'm going to go to the flight, flight deck in the, in the lift. You float on into the flight deck. And I'm going to head over to the, emer the emergency pod with the button. Oh, I see where you're going. You basically get to eject again. I didn't realise this was the pod. Yeah. So you're floating on into the yeah, escape yeah. pod, is that right? That's right, yeah. And I'll put the boots back on once I'm in there. So you float on into the escape pod and turn your mag boots back on. Yeah. Or put them back on, rather. Yeah, yeah. And then hit that big old candy light <laughs> mother <laughs> button. <laughs> You hit the large red candy light launch button. Your pod zooms out of the space station at terrific speed and enters deep space. Oh, wow. I thought you were going to turn around and say the alien kills it. Uh, yeah, there's an extra bit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the Frelions is catch your escape pod in their tractor beam and bring you aboard their ship. You're enslaved and put to work in the Frelian salt mines. The end. Mm. <laughs> oh, f***. Save. Can I go back to that save? So did you save before turning the shields um, off? Or so Where did you save? I saved. So we went into the emergency pod. I've got my su complete suit on. And then I saved. So okay, so this was the one where you slapped, the slapped into the yeah. shields. Right, got you. Yes. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. shields are up. Sensors have been repaired. Yeah. CPU's been repaired. Yep. Yeah. And everything's boot pretty... back up. Yeah. Radiation's been repaired. Okay, so I'm going to take my boots off and I'm going to head back to the flight deck and into the lift. Uh, you you arrive at the flight deck. There's escape pods here. And so and I'm going to go up to level. F I'm going to I'm going to go up to level five. Yeah, in the in the lift. You're on the command deck. Uh, there's a comms terminal here. You smell burning from a nearby corridor. Um, no, you don't. You fix that. Sorry. No, you, oh, you, no, don't, that's been you fixed. don't smell no. any burning. Yeah, <laughs> that's been fixed. It hasn't just randomly broken. Okay, I'm going to check. <laughs> yeah, so you're in the command deck. <laughs> okay, I'm going to check the comms. Okay, I'm going to check the comms. The comms terminal is used to send a message to ships docking or leaving the space station. It's currently flashing a message. Incoming message. Unknown language. Please input language to translate. Can I input Frelian? Attention, humans. Surrender space station or be destroyed with gravity cannon. 
Okay, I'm going to surrender. Attention humans, prepare to be boarded. All humans must abandon space station or be taken prisoner. Okay, so I'm now going to head back to the lift. Yep. And down to level one flight deck. Oh, sorry, no, level two. Level two, Jesus Christ. Level two? Yeah, level two. Okay, so you're in the engineering bay. Okay, can I head to the shield generator? Station shields repel, space debris, blah, blah, blah. There's a control panel here. Okay, can I go to the control panel? I act, act, you, uh, activate it. Yeah, so you're lowering the shields, yeah? Yeah, please. A torpedo hits the station. Sparks and flames erupt from the control panel. The gravity drive fails. You begin to float. <laughs> can I float back to the engineering bay and into the lift? You feel the station shudder as something even larger than the torpedoes hits it. You're in the engineering bay. Holy s***, <laughs> what was that? Right, I'm going to go down the lift to the flight dock, deck, dock. You're now in the turbo lift and you go into... To f- level one, flight deck. You arrive at the flight deck. There's pods and shit here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to head to the transport, uh, the emergency pod and get in. So you're in the escape pod. And I'm going to put my boots on and my astronaut suit, just in case that wasn't already on. Boots so and space, shot, uh, space suit equipped. Yep, and I'm going to launch my ass out of here. You glance at the robot dog that's followed you in, give him a bit of eyebrows. <laughs> Your pod zooms out of the space station at terrific speed and enters into deep space. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. What? You look back and see that... Remember that giant thud? Yeah, yeah. that was something larger than a missile. It looks like that. That was their ship attaching to the space station. You continue zooming, and within a matter of days, you are picked up by a Parsec rescue ship and returned to Earth. Thank you for playing Space Station. The end. Holy crap, I'm... Oh my god, I've done it. <laughs>